And okay, welcome back. We don't need a timer. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. We're just doing okay, well, welcome back. Like I said in the last video, we're doing this all in one go. All right, so go check out Rantaro, Steve. Pl uh -huh. pl please just go do it right now. I can't see his body from here. All right, well, you should go check on him. I'm going to go check on Ryoma first. Did you do it? <laughs> Did you do it? <laughs> well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. So, Steve? <laughs> I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Who are you thinking so far? Alright, so you and I have talked about this a bit, but I'm leaning towards Mew. You're leaning towards Mew? Yeah, I'm leaning towards her right now. Her or Ryoma? Yeah, I'm leaning towards Ryoma. Or, but we, we have no evidence to base this off of yet, so let's yeah, just so keep going. Yeah, we'll so we'll give our... All our, in, all our theories, like, at, right before the class trial, so we'll... Like, you know, then. Oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Literally, he literally just died. Mm -hmm. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Uh. Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? Yeah. <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? W what do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Thank you, dude. Julio. Did you kill him? <gasps> so is he's still dead then? Probably. You guys fucked up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just enough likes was all we asked for, but no, he's like dead on the ground still. It's a mysterious glove. Good job, viewers. It's a mysterious glove, but I don't think it has anything to do with this incident. Then how does it spin on itself then? Yeah, for, yeah like I can't see the body. Oh, near the body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but should we investigate Rantaro's body? Uh, um... Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can do it. I'm, I'm in the... <laughs> I'm a narcoleptic. No, I'm in the narcoleptic. N narcoleptic? I, I, so I'm, you fall asleep randomly? I'm both. <laughs> Necrophilia? <laughs> yeah, that one. Going for? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I, I misconstrue words all the time. Did I use that one right? Whatever, just keep reading. My mind was set and I started to walk towards Rantaro's body. Yeah, that guy's dead. God damn it. <laughs> Two more likes. That's all it would have taken. The last time I saw Rancho, he was alive. And, well, well not that dead. didn't do much for him. Yeah. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Ah, are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm sort of a detective after all. Bullshit. Jeez. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Ah, right. He lost his memory again. Um, alright, so let's so just... Yeah, look at that blood splatter. I want to look at the shot put. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... <laughs> the shot put ball. Could it be? My shot put ball? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. <laughs> what could this mean? <laughs> That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Now my question is, is, is this just a graphical thing? Or why does it look like the ball rolled but the bloody part is still on the ground? What do you mean? So, like you can see a you can see a small trail coming out of the oh. blood splatter where it looks like the ball would have rolled, but there's still only one part of it that's bloody. 
Yeah. Okay. So you hit him, and that part's bloody. So like the bottom half of it of it is, and it's rolling along, and it leaves that trail. But then the clean side is going on the carpet, so it's not getting bloodied. Okay. At least that's how I'm envisioning it. Maybe kind of. Sure. You know what? We'll just keep going yeah. on that. Let's see. Uh, yep. There's nothing here. Let's just talk to Shuichi. <laughs> no, nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, you want to go get some food, Shuichi? <laughs> hey, Rontaro, we're gonna have dinner. What do you want? <laughs> um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Kyoki showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so, we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes. For now. Kyoichi then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. I was really hoping it'd say pants. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Uh, um, I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. Uh, how can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede. Pull yourself together. Hmm. Rantaro had in his possession the key uh, to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh, then, Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind? Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we have now, that's the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? He was just, like, getting a book out of the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really want to read a book, like, right before I die, so... Oh, man, I, th I think I should get caught up on Game of Thrones. Like, I haven't read the last book yet. <laughs> <laughs> Rantaro's belongings has been added in... Yeah, so he had a key and a... Bullets. And, um... Uh, Tablet. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Alright, so I guess, you know, we're not going to vivid detail for the body. <laughs> Something is bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh. I'm guessing it's something to do with what, what Rantaro mentioned earlier. He was looking up stuff about the hunt. Yeah. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Or not the ultimate hunt. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible. He noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Yeah. He what? Uh, um... He might have come to the same conclusion we did. That the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. We could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. no, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As you said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Remember. Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? You think so? <laughs> think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Alright, moving ladder. <laughs> oh, fuck. The moving ladder I used to reorganize the books on top of the bookcases. Nothing out of the ordinary here. So, so look up look up at the vent? Yeah. The vent, vent, the vent is open. I was the one who took out the grate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we... Oh. And we were <laughs> keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Yeah, that's true. Okay, library. Yeah, okay, so that, that's probably going to be important at some point. Well, it's truthful. Most of them are. Yeah, most of them are, but some of them are just dummies. Why did the culprit? I believe not... those are called red herrings. Yeah, whatever. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood work? Huh? 
What? The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. This is another thing Steve and I were talking about, too. Who is? <laughs> this is why I don't think Mew did it, because I think she would just immediately come forward and say, Yep, that was me. Yeah, 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 get me out of here. Or also on the lock. Well, uh, at least I'm on the lineup. What if, like, Rantaro did it by accident? Like, he put the shot put ball up there, and then it fell on him. Yeah, shot, yeah, t try to kill the mastermind himself. Yeah. True. I wonder what that means. But, like, yeah, what I said was the blood splatter, uh, like, on the wall seemed like he was hit from the back. Well, not he, from he, he could have... He could have had his head down. It would have bonked him on the head, and based on the angle, it could have, like, splattered there. But if it hits on the top of the head, it would splatter out 360 degrees, not one direction. Um, I don't know, well, let's just keep going. Yeah, I, I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Going to. Huh? Uh, everyone? That is correct. I don't explain why they would forego their survival in f favor of a class uh, trial, but doesn't that seem a bit of a stretch to you? Agree? Well, the culprit is also the mastermind, and no, it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the Mastermind would do. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Thank you, Random Lady. <gasps> Mioi! You wouldn't have done it, right? Dude, I totally fucking did it! <laughs> Don't talk to me, Croc Kick. I'm fucking busy. You think so? You think so? <laughs> Mioi continued ignoring us while he fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Ah. It's a prone. Prone? Um, I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually, if it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Gaglion Alliance to destroy humanity. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm right there with you, Kaya. And I'm just gonna ignore her. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a second. The controller is. <laughs> now you're getting it, thick keys. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. <laughs> yeah. So right now I'm current. Oh, wait, they're talking. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, go, go ahead. It's fine. Okay, yeah. So currently I'm playing this without headphones because the batteries in my headphones died. So I just get to sit here in awkward silence. Yeah, okay, I, I said this before, but like an RC helicopter, but now it's a drone. But that could have been used to drop it on him. I guess so. It's Potentially. A drone. It's a drone. It's a drone. <laughs> Time to make this. I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> but, but she didn't make it so she could do that while she was asleep? Yeah, unfortunately, I know, but some sacrifices had to be made. Drafting a floor plan with photos. Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. Don't be really proud. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I can't do shit about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Oh, jeez. No, because she just keeps ringing up, I need to just confirm something. Okay. Alright, so our chess is 35, <laughs> and hers is 39. Aha, I got those inches. Yeah, four more. Okay, yeah, you got bigger tits. <laughs> Shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. <laughs> what did I do? U udders? U udders? Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Hey, the dream. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I like it. It's not real. Whoa. Alright, let's talk to you. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. Oh yeah, that music that I can totally hear right now. It's not playing right now. <laughs> okay. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, 
We have to stop the mastermind so this is the last murder that ever happens. No way we're getting to like six cases, right? <laughs> we just have to. It's not like this is a dang and rampa game or anything. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Promotional video, background music. Alright, so. How about that? Oh, alright. I'm missing something. Alright, um. Oh, I didn't get the front bookcase. Oh, okay. She's always had something. Tons of bookcase. Tons of books are crammed into the, into the bookcase and it ranks in various stacks on top. It doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, the books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Stacked books. Yeah. Yeah, so... Level up! So, yeah, the drone could have come in through here. Is there anything else? Maybe the monitor. A time of the start of killing game had almost expired, but then the countdown stopped, and that obnoxious noise went away, too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. I think I talked to him. I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is the real door. The it's, rear. It's the furthest door from the stairs and leads to the hallway. By the way, this is a sliding door. See? It opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yes, I saw that. Why are you bringing this up? Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um... I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Monocubs. Mm. You're right. We'll just have to wait. Okay. So, just like then? Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, yeah. oh, back bookcase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fucking obvious clue. The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way, you gotta set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. I'm not seeing it. Suiki so climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Oh, it's so. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. You're the murderer. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing Wait, we good? I'm no. really bad at investing. The other back bookcase. That's near the body. Unless I'm supposed to go near the body again. Alright. Now go into detective mode again. Not really anything. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh no, no, it was a shop of ball. Yeah, it's a shop of ball. Oh, it didn't talk to him over here. Hmm. Rantaro opened the bookcase and then he moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? We've already done that. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, what are we missing? Yeah, well, why, why is it allowing me to look up this high? Yeah, I already kept, right, we already kept the body. Maybe maybe I had to talk to some I probably had to talk to Suiki again actually. Um Hey Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um, Dead fucking body. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Can you move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door? Gamers, 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 gamers. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Is that alright? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase... You let go of the bookcase and after waiting for a bit... Subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, it closed on its own? The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. The bookcase has been added. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Uh. Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the Master Iron was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Alright, so I, I'm sorry I think they didn't actually go through it. 
So we actually move the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Game like, comment, share, subscribe. God damn it. Then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? The dust is still here. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put all the dust. <laughs> this hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind didn't go through the door. Um. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rantaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, I think... I still think the mastermind is the culprit. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. <laughs> now can we leave? Jesus. I'm, 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 bad, I'm bad at investigating. Alright, so... Uh, ladder... vents... Yeah, maybe I'll do ladder again. Uh, maybe ladder... Not the ordinary, okay. Try talking to Shuichi. Yeah, Shuichi probably has something. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. I need some advice. What do you think we should check first? I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more That's than me. True. Hmm. What should we check first? Is if, as it, is if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way, like the bookcases, the vents. I feel there might be clues around there. Mm -hmm. I see. I remember correctly. Also, I think there may be clues around Manta Rantaro's body. It might be hard to do, but... Well. And finally, we need to hear from everyone here. One of them might have noticed something we missed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Suichi. Okay. Uh, it's no problem at all. I hope I can be of some use. Go back and try re-talking to people? Yeah, may maybe Mew has something now. Second, Don't talk to me, you ugly skank. Quit interrupting the investigation. Hey, damn it! The shot's out of focus again. You fucking face blurring the lenses, bitch. Well, I mean, it might be useful to the investigation, but it'll not be finished in time for the classroom. I guess I won't expect too much. Yeah, I'll talk to everyone and I'll go through all the random things. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. He yeah, played okay, the we music at such through. high volume you wanted to kill the academy. <laughs> pressured him. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, lady? Interesting theory. You have their su su mu sumugi? What if I had to move something and there's like... Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Hey, Monokuma. A, a, a coin Akuma. Uh, I guess I guess I wanted something else beside him. Oh, whatever. The way the world works. Those who speak when fix the truth testimonies. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah there's going to be a glance around. like, reveal evidence. There are lots of books jam packed in the bookcase. The books are arranged from the vent soon that have been left alone. Try pushing the books on top of the um, thing right there, like down a bit. Yeah. Here. No, 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 down, 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 left, okay. left, that one. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Cool. All right. So. What else is there to look at here? We already looked at the globe. It's like, yeah, it's just a stupid fucking globe. I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Yeah, you're fucking wrong, lady. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I feel like I'm supposed to click on I the drone. Know. The master Iron's objective is not to survive, but to kill us all. That would explain why they would forego the clues. We cannot lose this fight. We must find our way. Okay, so for a sliding door. Here door, for this door from the hallway. This hallway, we'll one through this door. I guess we'll find out once Monica comes our fingers will open the film. Yeah, okay. Can't click that. You cannot click the door. Go up, try scrolling up a bit more. Yeah, okay. The movie book is closed right now, so it's okay, I'm going to close out a certain amount of time. So now let's go through the door. The bookcase will go back to its original place. However, the dust we keep placing in the cover hasn't been touched at all. We're getting the maximum idea go through. Yeah, okay. Detective mode and look up. No, that's... Yeah, yeah, I can't go up any higher. Jeez. Maybe... What about the, um... What about the back door? Uh, the vent looks very well left when I... When I was very tricky, I were... Look down the next to this vent. I doubt anyone could have gone through here. Alright, so... Are to you your right, to your right. To my right. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, that one. Oh, fuck! I didn't think I could talk to it. There's a front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rantaro's body. Mm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over, That's true. we found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. 
Maybe the mastermind did too. That's. When we see the pictures after the Monarch have developed them, that will all be clear. Uh... I guess all we can do is wait. Okay, good. Um... Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now. We just had to look at the front door first and recount the entire situation that didn't help us at all in order to be sure. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm -hmm. The six people that went down to the... Oh, the, six, the six people that went down to the basement of Rantaro. Kato, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Him Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Yeah, I know them are in this room for some weird reason. Ooh. They should have been in the game room, along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened here, there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Yes, I'd like to leave. Okay, so... Finally. Yeah, I'm... It's a crime scene. There's a lot to learn. Uh, okay, so they should be in the game room. Then. Yeah, allegedly. Ooh. Allegedly. Oh, fuck. There's three more bodies. <laughs> and Gonta's covered in blood. <laughs> Gonta innocent. I believe you. Yeah. Excuse me. We need to confirm Maki's alibi. <laughs> Damn it. He's not a lot of talk. Um. Maki, you were in the game room when Rotaro was killed, right? Hey. Uh, what were you all doing here? Rantaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh, oh no, th that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. And again, the timeline is so close to expiring. Maybe that's why it happened. I don't know. So trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? Can't get a read on Maki at all. She gets saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. I started making her as the ultimate child caregiver. But... but why were you all here in the first place? It was Kato's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy me and gathered us here. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in the fight. What, not Tennis Man? He murdered yeah. the Mafia! <laughs> yeah, I was, I was wondering, like, for a fucking battle, they didn't get Tennis Man? Seven people. Kato, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Anki, and Rantaro. Hmm. But, um, I'm not sure those sound would all be useful in a fight, though. See. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Anki's connecting to Atu would be useful. <laughs> but what about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate Kyo caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> That's it? Jeez. That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. It's me. Mayor Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaito and Tenko weren't looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Um. Then, did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Anki, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gunta never joined us. Huh? Well, Gunta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gunta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AB room in the back. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> <laughs> He was, he was in the AV room by himself? Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. <laughs> and Jimmy is now down here. What other two? Oh God, no. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Marcus account's been added. Alright. Shuichi. Right. Shuichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be. Kaede, have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Uh, so I'm feeling like it's one of those six that came down here. Essentially, yeah. Wait. 
<laughs> wow, alrighty then. <laughs> Wait, Gonta not murder anyone? <laughs> I told you, we're not saying you did, we just want to talk. No, it's him, alright. He's got the face of a killer, like Hannibal Lecter in Wrath of the Lambs. No way! <laughs> Don't judge Gaunta by his outside, on inside Gaunta, gentlemen! Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. Eh, just tell us while, while we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit who stole my Lucky Charm cereal? Mm -hmm. Or are you not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Are you not not the culprit? Mm -hmm. Going to not not no. Uh, uh. It's just it's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. Mm. And all came to question. And Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Wow, yeah, we were joking about you, girl, but now you're actually falling into that. So yeah. It's totally off topic, and we go stop talking about Trump. It's totally off topic, you go do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AB room alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not much help because he's not smart. <laughs> So Gonta in here alone, watching <laughs> bug movie. Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie, fill Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to murder, uh, fight Monokuma. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure, you do you, Gonta. <laughs> but why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Then you be with the good girls. <laughs> Huh? G Gonta no can become girl, Gonta. That Gonta never become gentleman. <laughs> Himoko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That is really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. Oh, you fucked up. But you guys not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Oh. Cal calm down! You're making a really scary face like me. How can this be? <laughs> Cause Gonta feels so useless! I don't hear any story. I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? <laughs> That's true. Gonta just like killing. Yeah. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah, yeah you're right. Himiko, tell me all. The culprit is definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Just look at those biceps. No. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Really? You can tell it's definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Mm. Um, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? Investigating is a pain. Don't tell suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all you fall or care. It's impossible. Your magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Like... Like, Man, like, like, <laughs> like our current political government. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's colluding with Russia. <laughs> that, stop being so lazy with some actual effort into solving this. I wanted. I was trying to think of the way to say it, but I kind of. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe that that happened right next to our strategy meeting. Hey. Kaito, can you tell me more about this strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? What? Am I one of your suspects now? Um. No. Um. That's not what I'm. Nah. It's not because you're, you're suspicious of me. Of but I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. You got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Oh, a Reddit AMA. Okay. Then... Well, now that we have the chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Kaito went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right, then. Where should we start? I'm really tired. <laughs> After Kaede and I set up the cameras, we were keeping a watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys down into the basement. Hey. When did he start asking people to go with you? So... I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one, and we all went there together. That's when we saw you. You, 
Yu, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. You know... Now that I think about it, the monitors started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um... I wonder to confirm what you told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Ah. Yeah, we went straight to the game room. But right after we went inside, Gonta went to the A B room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom, but we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to get him back, and that's when we met up with you guys. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. However, I can't guarantee that Gunta was in here the whole time. I see. I see. So we can't confirm Gunta's alibi yet. Hey. The library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rantaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Hmm. hmm. We didn't learn any new information, though. So, I'm not clear suspicion yet, huh? No. Eh, don't worry, you're not a likely suspect. Alright, that's not something a detective should say. Huh? Wait. Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have died for no reason. Got it. This is where you need to let your ultimate time shine. I'm gonna go to space. So, you key? Yeah. Anyway, if you know something or remember anything, let us know. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate on my own. I like his soul pants, by the way. I think it's Gonta. Wait, right, Gonta? Please, <laughs> please. Gonta murder you all. Gonta watching bug movie to fill Gonta with fight. So Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need focus to fill up with fight. So Gonta lock door. That sounds like a lie. If you tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Uh -huh. Yeah? If Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman. Uh, he he shut up. Stop saying ridiculous oh, things. Gonta just wants to protect everyone. Really? Why? Why no one believe Gonta? Gonta feels so pathetic. Okay, we we got we got to prove his innocence somehow. I like how his last name is Goku. There are a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh, oh, the Lucky of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. That's. The one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? A film war won awards for its phenomenal music. U.S. audiences were moved to tears. Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Shut up. Huh? What else do they have here? Hmm. I grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. <laughs> Find any other movies there? Um, uh, nothing special over here. Let's go look somewhere else. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong. I, I said something. There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. I mean, me movies. Wait. Kaede, you're panicking. It's okay if you find a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me look. Uh, geez. No, don't come over here. A couple minutes later, we're both looking down on the floor with beat red faces. Right. I, I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate something else. <laughs> Goku Hara. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back sliding door. I'll deal with that in a bit. I bet this huge speaker produces some high quality sound, but that's not relevant now. Oh. It's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you can use it as a long pole of sorts. Um, hmm? How so? No. It says so what? I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? Sometimes you say some weird things to Iki. Most of you detective fork of yours. Okay. Ah, uh, you think so? Sorry, you can treat it as me talking to myself. Let's check the video rack over here. Videos wow, it's all porn. Videos and DVDs have been jam-packed under the shelves on the wall. Why is there so much porn? Documentaries about insects. I wonder if Gonta was watching this. It's insect porn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, exactly. There are some posters rolled up with rubber bands and a cylindrical bucket. Okay. Is this a movie poster? Well, the same too. I took a poster out and unrolled it. 
It's poor. <laughs> Ultimate Despair Girls 2, coming soon? Looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before. A high school girl with a megaphone and a serial killer. Sounds like some lame spin-off game. Is this one of the Monokuma's pranks? Yeah. Probably. Hey, references. Hi, oh. Alright, let's, let's just, you know, check the back sliding door. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Is it connected to the hallway? Right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... The chunk? Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um. Bang. Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. I can, see, I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No, no. no. If it's going to... It doesn't matter. The door was stuck. He's an insect. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover and kill us. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Gonta never do that. Gonta not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. <laughs> huh? You think Gonta could eat from this door? <laughs> uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. The sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Mm. So then he just forces his way through the gap. Like our financial deficit gap. <laughs> like, the, like the gender wage gap. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit there. Poor shot put. Bonta. Leon. <laughs> what? I guess an 11037. Arm, I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough. Magic. So then you probably use magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait. <laughs> Don't I know can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. These two never have anything important to say. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, Suiki? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Suiki peeked through the gas line door, he muttered, I, knew it. I thought so. Look like you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. I'm sorry, sorry. I was going to say, did you read the first line? I zoned out there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so what? So what? I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it's a little concerning. Concerning how? Yeah, okay. Sign door. So Gunta is unfortunately our primary suspect at this point. I think we investigate everything here too. Steven, for God's sake. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then what should we do next? <laughs> <laughs> For now, let's still ask the others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked to. This would be this done. would be done if we had the pictures. <laughs> we wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind is. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm sorry, I keep stealing your lines. Yeah, would like... you like to leave? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. I'm gonna leave you, Maki. Goodbye. So now we're just gonna be talking to everyone, pretty much. Yeah, we're gonna slowly try and build up alibis for people, and eventually be like, "Yeah, this one." Th <gasps> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at it. Uh, honestly, I was hoping it'd be Rantaro, and I already forgot he died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room, but he only confirmed that what Maki had told us, and didn't provide any new info. I see. Right. I knew it! Gonto would be the most suspicious as he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention, he's also a male. <laughs> um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how has your investigation been going? I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male. <laughs> hey, degenerate, don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie? We agreed to investigate with one another with one other person, right? What, what, who's Maki investigating with? Well, but Angie's just been wandering around alone. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um, I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we do have to trust each other. <laughs> 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 oh, she does not look happy right now. <laughs> Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. 
S sorry, that wasn't my intention. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. All right. Okay. What are you up to? <laughs> You're not gonna investigate, Anki? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Watu too. Amen. Oh, Watu, please let Rentoro enter heaven safe and sound. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Nah. Mm. Rentoro will die in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice It'll if he could. Okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum discipline. Huh? Disciple. D disciple. Fucking oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a credit card rewards program. <laughs> It turns out it actually is like a Tua's just like a supermarket in uh, <laughs> wherever she's from, Hawaii. Is she from Hawaii? Fucking, I don't know. Probably. Probably she's, some, like, she seems Hawaiian. Oops, Where else are there? There's someone over here! Goody Social goody. interaction! Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Are you here alone, Kokiki? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Why? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that alright? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rantaro was killed? Ooh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer to tell you the truth. I was in the library, smashing in Rantaro's head. Cuffin' boys. <laughs> well, there we go. Hey, quit screwing around take this seriously. Why do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? What? Because If I gave you an honest answer, it'd make everything boring, right? I'd rather just let you tell you at the class trial. That would be more fun. Shit. The trial is going to be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. This isn't a game. Rantaro was murdered. All our lives are at stake. How exciting. Exactly. It's a game of life or death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class child to start already. Is Kokiki okay enjoying the situation? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm... I have a soft spot for the asshole who just keeps fucking up the trials. I do I do really enjoy Byakia, but... I'm not getting the same, like, yeah, yeah. thing out of him. Or I don't Nagito. think this place is related to the case. <laughs> you mean what? the fucking place where you got the goddamn shot put from? I don't think this place is related to the case. The place where we eat food every day? Okay, fine, whatever. The store has a habit. <laughs> One shot foot, please! <laughs> this, this game is stupid. Alright. Let me just check everything here. Okay. So I probably had to go up a floor. Okay. Okay, it's the classroom. I just. What about the bathrooms? Uh huh. It's probably actually this room because, you know, the vents in here. Oh, okay. I was just thinking, like, I really want to go to the warehouse, and I was like, this probably doesn't matter. Like, you know, why would- Oh, hello, everyone! Why are you here? Kaede, Suichi, I would like to ask you two a question, yeah? You were on the lookout inside this classroom, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement, and it was close to the library, too. Right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Hey. Okay. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, oh, may I ask one more question specifically about that vent? By the way. It appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it, yeah? That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watch inside the classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use the vent in for in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the vent library vent as well. 
with those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. Commit that to my memory bank. Really? I will be sure to save that important piece of information to the mem my memory bank, yeah? I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Praise be to Yevon. You, both, you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Or maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. A past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? Waka. <laughs> Waka, please don't get real. Alright. Okay, that's us, man. Heil Hitler. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Um, how do you know? Because it's a fuck. What do you mean, how do I know? <laughs> my appearances and actions thus far su suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Hit nail right in the head there, buddy. At least he's self aware. <laughs> so, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Oh, yes. You see this zipper I have on my mouth? I don't want to expose it most of the time, only when I'm eating so I can shove food into my face hole. <laughs> I can't just pull the mask down. The other people in there with me were Mew, Kurumi, and Sumugi. Hey, Sumugi's the cosplayer. cosplayer. Kurumi is whom? Kurumi, I forget. Oh. Oh, man, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. He makes supper. Alright, so we got, now, we got those four together. Alright. The Monocups prepared the meal for me, so it was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake or some such. That pasta sounds depressing. That concludes my alibi. I do hope I can be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Mew was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Sumugi left the, uh, to use the restroom. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Which one did she use? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. So she could totally get into the boys' room. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else, yeah. Uh, sure, I guess. Someone else? But who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. Should be at the crime scene in the library. Kiyo's account. I think I, I think I have to talk to him too. Hey. Hey Kiyo, what were you doing in where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, Yevin. Oh fuck! He, he, oh god, he's he's transforming. Okay. Um, are you glitching right now? No, I'm just searching for the right words. Yeah. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. So you don't have an alibi. But Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. He's way to throw him under the bus. Huh? But that was not my intention. But I see, both Kibo and Roma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of these two, those two, is the mastermind. Um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so peaceful. <laughs> 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 oh, I love you. Beautiful. <laughs> Middle tier. <laughs> yeah, you just went up a bit on the tier list yeah. now. <laughs> Keep those count. Okay. Putting aside that thing about Samugi, now we know everyone's alibi. Huh? What about Kokiki? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so so no one would co corroborate his alibi, correct? That means he must have been alone. I Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're a detective, and I'm not. Fuck. Alright, let's just get out of here and let's talk to Smoogie. Alright, so yeah. Still leaning towards Mew. Maybe when I get all the evidence, like, yeah. here, then Some I... Some sort of twist to the class trial, maybe. Yeah, Gunta, they're, they're kind of pushing too heavily. Or yeah, I believe. yeah. They even like did a twist, like, "Hey, don't you remember this callback we did with Gonta where he picked up the manhole?" Yeah. I think if it was him, that would be for us to remember on our own. Yeah. Right. Smoogie. Uh, um. Hey. Hey, Smoogie. Need to ask you. <laughs> she looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grab the hem of Smoogie's skirt and begin to lift it slowly. Guys? I'm going to lift your skirt, Smoogie. You okay with that? Uh, wait, Kaede. You 
bear talk or I'm going to lift your skirt for Suiki to see. <laughs> and I'm and then I'm going to tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, took you long enough. Well, I can't let Suichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. Uh, no, they won't get dirty. <laughs> Are you saying you're, you've seen dirtier Suichi? What do you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the case. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so what you think? It, so that's what you think of me? Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um, you can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... Can't. Cosplay isn't a disguise. Uh, sorry. I'll fucking kill you, bitch. It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Um, show me? How? Come on, Kaede. Uh, wait. Oh no, we're gonna be a cosplayer. Smoogie grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. I like saying that word, okay? Smoogie. <laughs> Smoogie. It, it'll make it a lot easier for me to remember her. Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? <laughs> hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. There's no way I'd do a thing like that. I'm oh, sorry. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. <laughs> okay. What? Why? <laughs> Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? But... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up. Huh? What? Uh-oh, here we go. I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Smoogie. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while he changed my, clo yeah. my clothes. Okay, now you can look. <laughs> You're going to! <laughs> there, there's the What? Don't <laughs> go full metal alchemist on us for you dressing up. She's done this before. Uh. Okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. We exchanged our clothes and returned to the library where Suiki was waiting. Did you get the pictures I asked for? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, those tears. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? This is Smokey couldn't have disguised herself. You understand, since you saw the cospox, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You've, I was really expecting cosplay is life right after that. You breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them from fiction into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay. It's just impersonating someone. I, I really don't need that long explanation. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, well, that was a long time, sir. Huh? This chime... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Why is it... <laughs> it's time, you bastard. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. Dad. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked weird to you? <laughs> so long. Oh. Yeah, that's what I ever know. Okay, so... I don't get that. I'm so sorry. Jeez. Oh, Did he hear that, Squeaky? The figures have finally been developed. Let's go. Come on. Get a move on. Uh, wait, Kaede. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Poor Mono Kid. Okay. I miss the NERC helicopters. <laughs> I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Uh, wait, Kaede. We shouldn't get so worked up. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. 
And here's the weird music. Oh, you came! We're intruding! Sure did! I came here to see you, Toots! <laughs> you're as lovely as always! Oh, Manasuke, you're such a flirt. Uh, may I join you for a drink? What are you saying? Drink as much as you want! I got cash to burn! <laughs> Thank you! Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? Ha ha ha! This is great! Uh, hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? Take these. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Dead. Dumbass. <laughs> I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what. By the way, Mata Fanny, want to get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district salary? Do you have another job? So long. Farewell. I'm confused. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Alright, so let's look at the pictures. Uh, Howdy face. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah, finally. Oh, hey everyone. Oh god. Yeah, we just don't want to come in until the show is over. Hi there. Are those photos developed? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on that culprit's face. Alright, All right, let's take a look. Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. Alright, so it's probably... This is when we arrived at the library, so it took a picture then. Yeah, this was right before we found Rantaro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? And of course. <laughs> That's you. Who's this? SS. Oh, SS. Rest assured, we do not care. Mm. Alright, let's go to the next one. Yeah, and that one's your same event. Oh, and everyone else. This is... is this? It's a picture of us running to the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and kill us the next picture. Yeah, yeah okay. This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Why the fuck is her gay, um, the colored one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. <laughs> so we got there a bit late. Yeah. What's going on with Mewi? I don't know, she's kind of like sneaking in, isn't she? Yeah. You know... Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. <laughs> well, there's one more in the front entrance, yeah? yeah? Yeah, let's take a look at that one. This one should be kind of important. Huh? Oh, it's a witchy! You did it! <laughs> uh, sorry, it looked like I tripped over one of the sensors when I was removing the camera. What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Um, this. Um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. This one's the most fucking boring one somehow. <laughs> oh. Damn it, I don't think I can look at the pictures again. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four photo pictures. Okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm just curious because I... Alright, so... Is there anyone in two pictures? Switch using two of them. Like that. Uh, Alright, but. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because it was the people in the. that were gathered to do the fight, and then this one doesn't have any of them, and everyone else is camming. Okay. I was thinking maybe the book. these books over here moved, but. It'd be different, but nope, they're, they're consistent. Uh, yeah, they're pretty consistent. Neither Rantaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. Did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Hmm. Only two pic photos were taken by the camera pointing at the rear entrance. So we know we're going to throw one through there. Mm -hmm. Let's see the first picture. Yeah, makes sense. Rantaro! So Rantaro went through the rear entrance, so perhaps no one would see him. I, see. I thought it might be possible when he was moved into the library after being murdered. But it does not appear to be the case, nah. So, so that means he was killed in the library after going there of his own will. Yeah. 
A anyway, let's go on to the next one. Maybe we'll kill the mastermind. <laughs> the answer. Huh? Uh, sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Wanna attack you, Hog, like Trump? No. <laughs> we had no choice. To remove the cameras, we had to be close to the sensors. It's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. Huh? Culprit not in rear entrance photos either? Why? W what does that mean? They're not in either the front or the rear entrance pictures? Uh... Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Suiji, don't you think that's weird? Uh, um... Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The camera should captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case that I just removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Suiji. The second one was Suiji. Gran Toro opening up and the other one Suiji. Oh! Gran Toro! Hmm. But if Gran Toro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... Oh. Yeah, he must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Uh, uh, could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Yes, that is a possibility, yeah? For now, let's see the next picture. There is one remaining, isn't there? Yeah, yeah here it is. Huh? All right. What? What's Rintaro doing? So, it looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Okay, so yeah, he has his monopad in his hand. So that stupid thing that I said where the carver could be the monopad. Oh, God. It, it, what it, if it, it's it. true? Did he say yes? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security, the security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. But that would mean that Rantaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Maybe because of the five miles thick of duct tape used for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the cameras, yeah? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why did the sensors activate? I don't get it. Uh, Tenko, uh, who yeah. cares? What happened to the culprit? Alright, so this, if it is going to then it's when he threw the ball, and it got sensed, and then, like, right before it hit him. Yeah, okay. Oh. How come they're not in any of the photos? It seems as if... Last photo must have been taken shortly before Antaro was killed. If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Probably because, you know, he's blocking yeah, the fucking Rantaro's camera. Yeah, Rantaro's... Rantaro's here like, no, please don't solve the murder. Hidden door photos yeah. added? Okay. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues. And we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. Alright. Hello. How rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. Those are all the photos from the hidden camera, so relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around. These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The corporate's not in any of them. The corporate didn't go to the library, and how'd they kill Rantaro? Uh -huh. Yeah, so this must be what they call a perfect crime, just like getting Nixon off Watergate scandal. <laughs> Nixon didn't get off of the Watergate scandal. He got, um, what was it? Impeached? Yeah, well, he left and then his vice pre the vice president became president and then like, what what's the word? Like nullified the fact that they was just like, yeah, he's fine. Oh, um, exonerated? Yeah, exonerated. He got exonerated from Watergate. Whatever. Yeah, perfect whatever. crime. Just keep reading. Yeah, perfect crime? We <laughs> need to be talking about Nixon's Watergate scandal right now. If you now. don't want to hear that with Sides, who killed Rantaro? Aw, oh, man. I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. You did investigate. By the way. <laughs> oh, by the way. Rantaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Don't you think... Do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. His student handbook did not came much in the way of pertinent... Prudent information. Pertinent. Pertinent. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. You're fucking wrong, dude. 
I suspect his monopad. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh man, so it's got nothing to do with the case? How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh, why? Why aren't why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. So why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede. All right, it's time for what you've all been waiting for. The class trial. Yeah, he's an I know. Please assemble in front of the shrine of judgment in the courtyard. Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. This one's been like an hour video. It has been, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. That's so. fine. Huh? The time already? It seems we have no choice but to continue the discussion at the class trial. I don't want to go. Yes, we do. You get him up. Me either. What a pain. <laughs> what, you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. Oh. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. And everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. Yeah. Let's find this mastermind, and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? He, he killed Grand Taro. Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. I'm gonna stay here. Boop. Fucking bitch. Gotta walk with him again. Kaede, really? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. I'm okay now, Suichi. Right. Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Alrighty. Uh, yeah, let's let's get there and let's go into the class trial. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going to call it an episode right before the class well, trial. Well, yeah, we'll get to that menu where I can set my skills, and then we'll call it. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. and then we'll, we'll give a little bit of our thoughts on everything, because I, I have, like, I already said, like, the two theories I got. Yeah. Well, but, but, like, if I go through all the evidence again, I can kind of maybe come up with another few. Okay. Because I that's one of my favorite things about this series, is just theory crafting beforehand. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Courtyard is this way. It's, so, it's in the birdcage. Yay. Gunta, why were you in here? <laughs> Watching bug movie. Are they still working? They are. It's such a good little box. I know, I like it. I, I love this one so much. It's just... It's just so uh, great. If you, it, It'd be perfect if you could just, like, forget about the fact that I have miniguns. Yeah. Isn't this... It's this red door, right? Wait, no, it's greener. Uh, Kaede, I have one more question. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Suiki? Okay. Y yes, but just that was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suiki? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. Woo! Alright, so... Cut him up! Oh, dude, he got decapitated. Oh, sweet. Alright, Monica, I'm gonna take his yeah. hand. I love Alrighty. that statue. Oh, I gotta talk to everyone first. Sorry, Pat. Oh, fucking goddamn what? hell. So, this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone! Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gonta. Yoo-hoo! Now give me a piggyback ride. Yoo-hoo! Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. So, are we doing this class trial here or what? No. No, Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Huh? Uh, Sorry, Pat. We going, to... going to do his best. Going to do his best. Let's work together and get out of here. Smoothie. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about my cospox. It's always it always goes away as soon as I stop trying to cosplay real people. Oh, I wonder if I still had cospox, could I get a note to be excused <laughs> from the class trial? 
No, I guess that's out of the question. Leave it to me. Don't worry. Even if we gotta do a class or whatever, I'll do something about it. I don't know what. Please help. <laughs> hey. You better get ready. There's nowhere for us to run. Huh? Sorry. I'm sorry for what I said before. This is important, and I. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Squeaky. Yeah, whatever. I want to talk to Squeaky. Wow. It's finally happening. I can't wait to see what's in store for us. Every <laughs> time I talk to him, I get more and more scared how it fits. <laughs> Where the hell are they gonna guide us? There's no one, nowhere else to go. You're jacked up looking face out of my sight, you damn, goddamn runt. Now let's go for SS guy first. Please don't think it's me. <laughs> those who will be judged and those who cast judgment, they are two sides of one coin. I wonder what awaits us on the other side of this fog of deception. <laughs> Don't do that after I know you're dialing. Those photos are a bus, so how are we supposed to find the culprit now? Then if Monica is not gonna show up, then can we just go back to Iraq? Fuck, we need to get the oil there. <laughs> we need to stop the nuclear weapons. An intriguing air surrounds that Monokuma statue. It's annoying me to no end. It goes hiding. Beep boop. I'm sorry, I can't even posit a guess as to who the culprit might be. But, but I haven't given up. I assure you, we will avenge Rantaro, yeah? Sneak attack. My determination is maximum. I will avenge Rantaro. So, does she not like, uh, Kibo at all? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. That Monokuma statue is absurd. Even our tool agrees. He says it should be replaced with a more divine statue. Alright, let's go. Let's just go quickly hump this quickly. Yeah. This one Kuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, Gooly, join our channel. <laughs> become Wait, become a Tom. <laughs> what? Alright, let's do this. How beautiful will it be? Uh, oh, okay, good, yeah. Good, good start. You. Oh, he's gonna be like Moses and Par in the Red Sea. We're just gonna like sink into it. Hey, there it is. Go on. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. I do enjoy the elevator scene. <laughs> uh -huh. huh? Is this an elevator? This is. That. Oh, is that does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't wanna get on it either. Hmm. Stay behind then. I'm sure that'll just be worse for you in the end. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape is not an option. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise. We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterwards. Except for the one we're gonna kill with this class. So let's do it. I'm sure it will be alright. Mm -hmm. Because. We make such an incredible team. We were able to get past that fire trap, like two of us. <laughs> hey, I want to be able to call myself man if I was still scared after hearing girls say that. Bring it! I'll show them. The stars. I'll, I'll show them how I, Kato Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live. <laughs> Don't you mean die? Dumbass. Don't say something all ominous like that, please. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's do it. Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, and he left too. Thank Determined, God. we all set forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. No one looks like they're on that elevator. We're all on the elevator. Wait. It's going without us. <laughs> what the fuck? Monokuma! Whee! Now, where would have my friend Charles said? Wow, that's Leonardo. super cool. It's an act It's actually an elevator. They're actually talking. Damn it. <laughs> Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> we are falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real fast. 
By all means, go ahead. <laughs> of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. As you wait to reach your destination, I whisper to Suichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. And you won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening, I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. Well, over some rumbling. <laughs> all right, all sound has stopped. <laughs> it's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Okay, it's rumbling again. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me, so I would not turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what waited us on the other side. Why, hello, Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting. Finally, a game that actually feels like a game. Bingo! Just as the prophecy foretold! Listen up, from here on, there things are gonna go so violent you'll wish you could turn back. No way! If that's not true, there won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. This is. This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. <laughs> what bad taste. Oh, Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Of course, putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. Yeah. You're the worst of the worst. You're seriously the worst. <laughs> <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, so long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, that's so sickening. It's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind one one with your name on it. I don't have one. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. Honestly, I thought you'd be the first one dead. Yeah. As I worked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Just go by the one that says Rantaro on it. Rantaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some horrible, low-life scumbag, a degenerate male. <laughs> I'll never forgive his killer. That's why we're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. He's killed. I, I fucking love Ryoma. <laughs> Just his fucking eye. His, yeah, he's seen shit, man. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind is controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll, I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we had to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. I didn't even get Rantaro one. <laughs> so we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Yeah, fucking yeah, I wanna say. All right, cool. Yeah, so, thank you all for watching, I guess. Yep. Next time, we'll do the first half of the trial, and then the second part after that, we'll be finishing up this chapter, hopefully. And speaking of next time, if you want, you can click that annotation on the screen to take you to the next video, unless you're watching this before the next video comes out. Or, also, you can give this video a like in honor of Rantaro, who you did not give enough likes to at the end of the last episode to bring him back to life. So he can at least go to a tool in peace. Yeah, you are all awful people.